before we get to that, we are going to talk with Katie Hirsch with the Alexandria Zoo, who joins us now with all the details on upcoming summer camps. Katie, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Of course, and you brought a special friend with you too. Yeah. Tell us about her. So with me today is Rosie, the Chilean rose-haired tarantula. So a long name for a very small critter. And she gets her name because of where she's found. This animal will normally be found living in the wilds of Chile. Uh, rose hair, describing the hairs on the very center of her back, they have sort of a rose gold hue to, to them. And then tarantula, the type of animal that she is. Well, you know, you told me that, you know, Rosie would stay in her habitat mm -hmm. uh, when you brought her on yes. here. And so uh, when she came up here, she brought this box, opened it up, and I said, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not <laughs> holding it. But it's not another tarantula. In a way, it's not. So tarantulas, they keep their skeletons in a very strange way compared to how we do. Our skeletons are inside our body. For tarantulas, their skeleton wraps around their body. And their skeletons don't grow with them as they grow. So as the old skeleton gets too small, a new one develops underneath the old one. And when the new one's ready, a trapdoor effectively pops open right in the center of the back. And then the tarantula is able to walk away wearing its new exoskeleton that's a little bit bigger than the last. Think about it as if you have a kid at home. Um, they're growing up big and strong. Their shoes don't grow with them, and those have to be replaced. Well, we just go to the store and buy a new set, but the tarantula can't go buy a new exoskeleton at the store, so they have to grow their own. And Rosie here just shed last month so this is a brand new shed and she got a little bit bigger leaving behind her old exoskeleton which now we can use as a tool we when we travel and do programming like our summer camps with Rosie she stays in her show box that's her safe spot where she's comfortable but we can take a closer look at the shedded exoskeleton and allow the kids to get an extra up close view of a tarantula. And for people like me, who I'm not going to like go very close to <laughs> a real uh, tarantula, but seeing the uh, shell is just really fascinating. You can really see the details of it too. Yeah, exactly right. It allows people to create a connection with the animal that otherwise they might be a little bit nervous about getting up close with, and that's okay. Not yeah. everyone loves all the animals as much as I do. Absolutely, but there's so much to learn about animals too, and you know, a lot a lot of kids love animals, mm -hmm. everyone loves the zoo, and so y'all are having the annual summer camp this summer. Yeah, so every summer we host our summer safari camps, which is six weeks through the month of June and July. Um, and we welcome kids who've completed kindergarten up to eighth grade to participate in our camp season, where they get an up-close view of our animals, have a variety of activities to participate in, crafts, games, scavenger hunts, behind-the-scenes tours, animal meet and greets, and they join us for half-day camps. Well, it is a fantastic program. I actually went to the zoo summer camp when Excellent. I was a kid. Oh, wonderful. And so uh, Jack, my son, he'll be doing the uh, the one for kindergartners. Excellent. And he's very excited about that too. And it's just such a great program and lots of different themes too. Tell us about some of the themes. Yeah, so our themes do match up with what the kids are learning in school. So the grade that they just completed, we're building off of the science curriculum that they've explored, explored throughout the school year. And they're not going to realize that they're learning. They're going to be exploring those concepts through hands on activities and continuing that learning throughout their summer session. Uh, I'm really excited for the Zoo's Clues summer camp, which I think might be the one uh, Jack will be attending. And the kids are going to have to explore different clues throughout their camp day to figure out which of the zoo animals that they're discovering and learning about at the end of their camp day. Such a fantastic way to engage kids and continue the learning throughout yes, the summer very too. Much so. so tell us how we register for the camp. Yeah, so you can visit our website at the alexandriazoo.com. We have uh, tabs at the top of the page go to education summer safari and on that page you'll find links for each of the camp weeks now camps are filling up fast so if you are interested in getting your kiddo into summer camp I do recommend signing up sooner rather than later I do have camps that have already completely filled um, so you just click on the link you're interested in the camp session you're interested in for either the date or the theme you can register online. There's an option to download a paper application and apply via paper. And if the camp you're interested in is full, you can always uh, sign up for the waiting list as well. Fantastic. Well, it's a great opportunity for all the kids out there in Sin Law. Katie, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for and having And for me. bringing Rosie and telling us all about the camp. Yeah, perfect. Thank you for having us. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Law right after this break.